guys, CP Modder here, back with another video. Now, recently we made a video, which should be linked right up here, which was going ahead and seeing how often do we need to go ahead and replace our thermal compound. Now, at the time of recording, that video hasn't been done yet, but definitely will be coming out before this particular one. Now, in this particular video, we went ahead and made mention to my server that hadn't been touched for two years. And opening it up, I really knew I had to make a video. So today, we're gonna show you how to clean your PC correctly. So first off, tools that we're going to need to go ahead and actually clean our PC correctly. First and foremost, some way of blowing compressed air. Cans of compressed air are usually your best option and usually the cheapest option, but if you are going to be doing things like this all the time, I do recommend one of those little air gun vacuum thingies, or also to just a standard air compressor set to low settings with a water trap installed, as you don't want to be blowing uh, moisture onto your computer parts, because that will end up really, really bad. But usually a can of compressed air like this will run you only a few dollars online, if you do buy a couple and usually is the best solution. We'll also too need to grab ourselves a toolkit as some cases don't necessarily use thumb screws so you need to do actually get in the system and if you do want to pull things like coolers and graphics cards out of your systems or even drives for that matter and fans you probably want to go ahead and grab yourself a toolkit to open it up. I've got myself the old school iFixit toolkit but there's definitely a lot out there that you can choose from but for me iFixit toolkit is what we'll be using for this video. Then finally we'll need some random assortment of little cloths, towels, and also too, if you do have any, being anti-static brushes or just sort of static free brushes. They can be really handy to get little bits of dust out that you don't want to try and blow out. And overall, it is really helpful there. But for today, this is all we're doing and this is what we'll use to clean our PC correctly. So let's grab our PC and get started. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and want to do is obviously turn off our PC and also to find a clean, safe, and outside workplace. The reason why we wanna be outside is the last thing you wanna do is blow all the dust from inside your computer into the room because it's all just gonna end up back inside your computer. So taking it out to the garage or out to your driveway would be your best solution. So for us, we're going outside on a dry day where there's no rain or anything like that so we don't get any rain inside of our computer. We'll also do using a little table because I don't really feel like putting the server on the ground for this particular video. So once that's all ready to go, we've gone ahead and taken off these side panels and we are ready to get things going. If you do have some video cards in your system, you can take them out right now. Also too, if you do have some hard drives in a caddy, you can remove them if you want, but drives can usually stay in and we are ready to start blowing out the dust. Now usually I recommend leaving the CPU cooler on the CPU when you're doing your first initial blow of the dust because you don't want dust getting into the socket, possibly shorting out your CPU. Whilst this is extremely unlikely to happen, there's always that 1% chance and it's better just to leave the CPU cooler on the CPU for now and take it off a little bit later. So first thing we're going to do is just blow out all the dust. Now you may notice there's no video card in this because this is a server, so there's rather a RAID card that I did remove, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything is blown out. When going ahead and using compressed air, do make sure you're not too close to the components as there's still a chance you may actually just blow things off the motherboard, whether they're capacitors, chokes, or something like that. You do have to be careful that you won't blow them off. Try and hold your can of compressed air or air compressor at least 20 centimeters away from the actual devices, and when you are blowing things like fans, don't let them spin. Whilst it's cool to see them spin around really, really fast, at the end of the day, you're actually damaging them and probably will kill them a lot faster if you had have just held them still. So put your hand on the hub, go ahead and blow the dust out and you should be ready to go. If the fans do spin very slowly because there's a bit of air flying around your case, that is totally fine, but just don't directly try and blow on the fans and spin them up because that would be bad. At this stage, most of the dust should be out of the system. If you wanna go for a real thorough clean, take every single component out and actually wash the case by 
removing all the electronics, so it's just literally the bare shell itself. You can wash it, leave it for 48 hours, and then put all the stuff back in, making sure there is absolutely no water in there. But for most of us, we should be practically right at this point. If you want to go ahead and replace the thermal paste, you can do so. There should be a video linked up there or down in the description box on how often you should replace them. But overall, at this stage, we are ready to put the system back together. Throw any components that you just pulled out back into the system, making sure they all look nice and clean. Give it one final dust down and we are ready to throw the side panel on and put it back on our desk and get back to using our systems. Though with that being said, before we do actually put the computer there, I recommend taking one of your microfiber cloths, wetting it down with some lukewarm water and just wiping down where your computer usually sits. Whilst it may not always be visible, there's always a bit of dust in there and it's worth cleaning that down. And I guess also too, whilst you're at this, maybe remove the fan filter where your power supply is, give that a blowout as well because it may be full of dust. But at this stage, all the fan filters, all the computer itself and also to your desk or even the floor where your computer sits should be nice and clean. We can set our computer up and turn it on and make sure everything is all ready to go. If your computer doesn't boot, do some basic troubleshooting and you should be able to get it back and running, no worries right there. So there we have it, how to clean your computer is actually a really simple and easy process. Do make sure when using an air compressor or some compressed air that you aren't going ahead and actually spraying any moisture onto the system and also to you make sure that you are spraying from a certain distance that won't damage any capacitors. Whilst motherboards have definitely gotten a lot better these days, there is still a chance you may blow something off the motherboard, so do make sure everything is nice there. I do also to recommend cleaning down the surface where your computer usually sits and also to giving the case a bit of a wipe down whilst you're at it, but overall it's a very simple process and I recommend doing it every two to three months. Again, personally I left it a little bit too long being two years, but at the end of the day, try and do it every two to three months as that's a good cleaning schedule. Otherwise guys, you can find everything that I used in this video linked down in the description box, even components in my particular server if you are uh, interested in that. Otherwise guys, let me know down in the comment sections how you clean your PC. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.